Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for March. Now this is for March, this is being recorded in February, so it may resonate now but it's really geared for March, so watch this in March. This is kind of like a, a preview at this point, okay? So keep that in mind, keep that in mind. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, we're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. If they come out reversed, no, we're not. These are overall energies. These we will use reversed if they come out. Um, if you are in a happily ever after relationship, you do not need a tarot reading, and you probably should not be watching this. This is for people that are struggling, looking for answers. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do you have for Scorpio? Please show me. Ooh, boy, everybody is getting this card. This is a new potential. Okay, you got a new potential partnership here, a new potential flame, perhaps. A spark is being relit. Maybe you got a new partner coming in. Um, this is a new approach, new vision, growth. You know, this is a new beginning, and it's a big one. Okay, this is something that is going to light your, your, your fire. Okay, I was going to say light your pants on fire, but... Uh, I stopped myself, but now I just said it, so it is what it is, right? Could be with a Taurus, so I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Taurus, but you probably are. Or you could be, I don't know. Either way, it might not be a Taurus, could be anybody. It could be somebody that could lead to commitment, could lead to marriage, whatever it is. You gotta believe, you gotta have faith, you gotta have trust. Really listen to your inner guide at this time. Either way, we got we got a new opportunity for something very passionate to begin begin so this is a passionate new beginning here Scorpio it's like it's it's lit it's lit the spark the spark is is I don't know you're probably glowing at this time. I mean, really, really glowing, whatever that means. Uh-oh. Woman holding heart. So, you could be you could be dealing with a if if you are the female watching this, this is you. It's like you're 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 ready for love. You're ready. You're open. And somebody probably sees your heart. They see your big heart. If you are the man, this is the woman that you are dealing with. She has a big heart. We have a woman here who has a big heart. And it looks like somebody sees it. So, anyway. <laughs> it's beautiful. It really is. 44. That's pretty interesting. Um, that's angels. Fours, fours is, is angels. So maybe this is like an... You could be dealing with somebody that is kind of like an angel to you. Or this is you putting off that energy... Um, really listen to your intuition at this time because your intuition is guiding you um, this could be in a very emotional time because of the sparks that are flying the feelings it's like there's feelings and there's fire and there's sparks you know so it's it's and this could be instant so there could be like an instant attraction that's coming in where it's just like wow you know wow that kind of thing um Interesting. What do we have for Scorpio? We have, a, we have a new passionate start here. With somebody that has a really big heart. Whether you're the one with the big heart or the woman that you're dealing with has a big heart. This is an obstacle being removed. So I think that if you guys have been stuck, it's just about over. Maybe there, maybe, maybe you're in the process of removing an obstacle so that you can go towards this woman or... You can give your heart to somebody else, whichever way it goes, because this is for male and female. This is removing an obstacle that, is, that has been hindering you. Maybe somebody has been keeping their heart closed off, and now it's like, I'm not going to I'm not gonna hide it anymore. I'm making myself emotionally available at this time. Maybe that was the obstacle. I don't know. Ooh, Six of Swords reverse. Somebody has been reluctant to see a new approach. Refusing to take a new approach. Hmm. But now they are. Interesting. Interesting. 
because they've reevaluated. Six is a re this is a six of swords reversed to the six of wands upright. Six is a reevaluation, refocus. Somebody has decided that I am going to remove myself from this place that I have been trapped and stuck. And I'm going to hold my head up high and I'm heading in a new direction. I think that somebody has made a lot of progress to let go of a emotionally draining situation. Progress is being made and it looks like you guys are headed right towards victory and success. Ooh, here you are in reversed. Hmm. This is lack of forgiveness, so make sure that you can forgive. This is lack of acceptance as well, lack of faith. you got to have faith. Remember I told you, you have to have faith. This card is, this is the Hierophant, which is faith. And, you know, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Taurus, because this is you, this is a Taurus, and these are opposites on the zodiac wheel, you know, on the spectrum. So, and this is opposition, and these two are opposition, so I, you, you may be dealing with a Taurus. I'm not sure. Um, but it it feels like um, somebody's getting out of a karmic situation that has held them back. I'm just going to show you what's under here is karma, and this one is karma as well. In many decks, this one's labeled karma, but we all know that this one is karma. So anyway, somebody is probably getting out of a karmic situation that kept them stuck. Um, and now it's like it's it's time to transition and probably you are transitioning but you gotta have faith you gotta have trust oh god there's there's negative thinking here there's negativity there's sadness you gotta let go of that sadness to allow growth and I think wherever you've been stuck there was no growth you've realized that there's no renewal there's no happiness there so I think that this is the past right here you guys have been stuck you've been stuck but it's over I think it is over because I see progress being made oh god there's something going on behind the scenes there's something hidden here but I think that you're starting to see things clearly I think things that have been hidden are starting to be revealed to you. I think that you're starting to see things more clearly than you have in the past. What what you may have hidden, the feelings that you may have hidden, you know, I think that you're accepting them even though this is lack of acceptance. Yeah, this is a karmic contract gone gone bad. So this is a contract and remember we and this is karma, okay? <laughs> Somebody is getting out of a karmic contract that wasn't meant to be long term. Maybe they're finally letting it go. It's like there's been too much conflict. Incompatibility. Somebody is realizing that they have stayed in an incompatible contract for long enough. And it's like, I'm not going to hide the truth anymore. It's time for me to trot on out of this situation because I'm ready. I'm ready for love. I'm ready for emotionally fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment. And I feel like we have a woman here that is really, I mean, she has a big, big heart, and she's and she's ready for love. So we do have a woman here that is absolutely ready for love, and I think it's because, well, let's get some more cards. She's been through a period of growth. Ready to start over. Oh, my God. Definitely karma. Bad juju. Somebody was in a bad karmic uh, relationship of some sort. I'm serious. And it was a karmic lesson. It really was. And it's like, now I see. Now I see that this wasn't justified. That whoever I was dealing with, you know, isn't going to be held accountable. They're not going to come clean. They're not going to make any changes. It's too heavy to hold on to. We're not compatible anymore. And it's time for me to start over. This is starting at the beginning. It is facing your fears about moving forward so I feel like somebody is ready to face the unknown you know what I mean I'm ready for this new passion I'm full of passion I've got this new desire to find love and you're I think you're gonna find it I really do and I think there's because there's a karmic contract that is ending or it has ending there could be a divorce on the horizon okay there could be Somebody may be deciding, you know, I want a divorce. I can't stay stuck here anymore. I can't stay stuck here where there's no love because I see that there's love someplace else. I feel like there's another opportunity waiting and it's a little scary to start over, but I think you're ready to, whatever that is. Woo! Um, 
So I feel like you may be a little conflicted. You may have your guard up. You may be feeling feel like, what if I bite off more than I can chew? Or you may feel like maybe there's children in the picture, and that's why you've stayed so long wherever you're at. Um, maybe you've been trying to protect the children, or who knows? Who knows what this is? But I feel like for some of you, you know your intuition. I mean, the moon card is in the middle. That's your intuition. You've been intuitively guided to, you know, do what you got to do to bring victory and success and, and passion to your life. And I think you've got this desire to just be loved. You know, it's all about love. I want to be loved. And I feel like you guys are, are really, really... <laughs> headed in that direction I think you are headed in that direction and I think there's because it's because I feel like we have a karmic contract that is absolutely coming to an end yeah it is it is okay this is this is somebody has been stuck in a toxic situation bound to it and it's like somebody is breaking that bond it's like there's no reconciliation here there's no chance this is going to work out it's too toxic it's too incompatible it's based on um, maybe materialistic reasons. Maybe somebody has stayed for the material aspects of the situation, whatever. Maybe they were drawn to it because of the sex appeal or who knows what it was. But it was all a lie, okay? It was all a lie, I'm sorry, but the devil doesn't bring in good things. It's It brings in manipulation it brings in lies it brings in things to test you it brings in things to make you stronger to you know wake you up in some certain way so i feel like you guys are probably i think you may be, de be delivering a message maybe you're the deliverer maybe you're receiving it you know that you can't hide the truth anymore that i don't have desire to uh, participate in this um, false contract anymore so I'm going to break free and go after my little heart's desire so I feel like you know exactly what to do your intuition is spot on like I said you're being in intuitively guided Scorpio I feel like your intuition is telling you to leave this negative situation this this sad situation that you have been trapped in I feel like your intuition is guiding you to start down a new road um, because wherever you've been there's no reciprocation in love it's like it's not love it's not love you're not you're not getting what you deserve you're not getting what you deserve and it's like I want love I I want passion I want it all you know what I mean so I feel like you are you are being intuitively guided to just let go of this unhappy situation that had kept you stuck and I think that You know, you guys have been in a situation where you weren't getting the love that you deserve. That's the Knight of Cups reversed. You know, you were in a false contract. I'm sorry, but the Knight of Cups reversed is somebody who doesn't deliver on their emotions. You know, they don't deliver love. They don't. They don't. They don't. So I think that you may have been dealing with somebody that was very alluring and they pretended to be all that, but they weren't all that. And now you see it as being false. I mean, we definitely have an end of a false contract here. The lovers reverse, the justice reverse. These are both contracts. They're both reversed. It's over. It's over. And uh, you know, somebody could be you know filing for divorce or going through a divorce. I don't know what's going on here, but or a split. If you're not married, it could just be a split of something that was toxic, something that was a lie. I'm moving forward. I'm moving on. After reluctantly holding on for so long to this unhappy situation. And they may have held on for the children or they may have held on for the financial aspect, you know, or they didn't want to deal with the conflict. They didn't want to deal with the legal system. You know, I don't want to deal with all this, but it comes to a point where, you know, the heart matters, right? Anyway, um... I feel like somebody may have been bullied or abused or neglected or unable to make a final decision because of fear of getting hurt, fear of, you know, being abused even, fear of conflict, really. 
somebody was unable to make a decision because of probably previous abuse or something like that. Somebody was dealing with a person that was emotionally cold, doesn't have any love to offer. Okay, I'm sorry, but somebody was dealing with a person with the Knight of Cups reversed and the King of Swords reversed and the Ace of... Somebody was dealing with a person that didn't have any real love to offer. I mean, you can't make that shit up. You cannot. There's no love here. And that's where they, and it's like they know, and now it's like you know that there's no sense in, there's no sense in hanging on to that. It's time for me to go. It is time for me to go. No more togetherness. There's no compromise. There's no working together. There's no appreciation. There's no mutual respect. It's like whoever you were dealing with was, their ego was so big that you couldn't, there was no chance in this ever working out because it takes two. It takes two to bring balance. It takes two to... It takes equal give and take. And whoever you were dealing with just didn't want to put in effort. It was all like a bunch of lies. And I feel like you're to the point where, you know, it's time for me to stand up and walk away. It's time. It's time. I think that you guys are ready for closure on this chapter, whatever it is. I think you've given it all that you can give it. You've really stuck it out. Um, but you're not getting what you deserve. The Six of Pentacles reverse, and you know it. You know it. So I feel like right now, you know, this is lack of equal give and take. The Six of I'm just, it's so funny how this works, how, the, how they just confirm what I say. You know, it's like there's no there's no reciprocation here. And I think that you guys have come to the realization that there's no chance that this person is going to give you what you want. So, I, you know, I, I feel like you guys are ready to just drop this and, and let it go because you want love. And I see love. I do see love. I feel like you guys are about to take back control of your life. You're taking control. It's like you're standing in your power. No longer going to fight. I don't want to fight anymore. I'm standing. You're standing your ground to bring back structure to your life. I feel if you are the female watching this, the female Scorpio, you may be having an Aries or some kind of very prominent man come into your life that can take very, very good care of you. If you are the Scorpio male, this is you that is very... Um, organized you know what you're doing you're in control you got the power you know what's going on you're in charge you're in charge here and I think that you are taking back control of your life if you are the Scorpio male same with a woman I mean I really feel like we have a woman here that is ready for love and somebody is probably um, seeing that Somebody is definitely standing their ground. You got this one just flew out. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. We have Libra. We have Capricorn. We have Taurus a couple of times. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It doesn't matter. We have everybody. It doesn't really matter who we're dealing with. But the fact of the matter is, is that it looks to me like you guys are finding the confidence to refocus and, and place your energy in a new direction. It's like you're, you're like, I know I'm not going to fight for something that somebody that doesn't love me. Because my heart is too big and I deserve it. So I feel like you guys have this new approach, this new desire, this new drive. It's like you got this new fire within you to go after love and I think because you're changing that direction taking back power taking back your control that you are going to call in this is this is this, this is the ace of swords this is calling in this is wake up call you're going to call in the true the true partner that's what's going to happen here this is a sword of power. This is the sword of truth. This is a wake-up call. You guys are waking up. You are. And you're taking your power back. I already said it before this card came out. Accepting the truth after you didn't accept it for a while. You, you, this is a new idea. 
You got you guys got this new new thing coming in. It's because you're changing. You're changing your thoughts. You're changing your desires. It's like I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So I, I see a, a change here that is going to lead you towards success. It's like where you are totally the boss. You're the boss, Scorpio. You are the boss. This is the boss. This is the boss. You're the boss. The Four of Pentacles. This is about stability, holding, holding what you have. I think that you guys are about to find some sort of stability, something that you can keep, something that you can save. Something that you can add to your life. I think that something something is going to come into your life that you can actually keep. And it's because you're in your own power. You really really are. I don't know why I keep thinking calling in your soulmate. I wanted to say it multiple times. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Could be anybody. Uh, but this is the woman. This is the woman here. She's the she's the goddess of love. So, you know, I really feel like we we have. If you are the male, especially, and this is a soulmate. These are soulmates. There's been a delay. There has been a delay. There's been a delay because you needed to call it, you needed to let go of this karmic contract, whatever it was. Somebody, somebody's been in like a, maybe a marriage or a commitment that was really unloving, okay? And because it really wasn't. I mean, there was no love there or something, no reciprocation. It's like now you have this opportunity for love. For, this, is a, this is the birth of a new life. It really is. So I feel like it is. She gives birth to a new life. She experiences pain. And she goes through a lot of pain. It takes like nine to ten months to have that life, right? So she goes through the pain. And then she gets the miracle. So you guys are about to receive some sort of blessing for the pain that you have went through. So be prepared. It's a soulmate connection. It's funny that I said calling in your soulmate right before this card came out. These are soulmates. So you guys are about to have a soulmate come into your life unexpectedly and I feel like you may not even be aware like this is lack of awareness you may not be even, even aware that this is what's happening but this is what's happening could be a Taurus or a Libra could be a Aries could be anybody it could be anybody so don't don't hold it to the signs <coughs> you're gonna there's gonna be communication right between the two of you there's going to be communication, and that's communication that that happens, okay? So probably in the month of March, communication is going to probably, it's been delayed, but it's going to start. It's going to start, and it's probably going to take off fast because there's going to be an instant attraction. I feel like there's going to be a strong attraction, undeniable attraction with this person. Um <laughs> Be prepared. Be prepared. It's what you've been wait, waiting for. I think you were calling in your soulmate, and here it is. Here it is. But you still may need to get, I don't know if you need to get a divorce or get out, or you need to finalize this contract. I'm not sure what it is, but. Oh, here it is. Let your friends help for, help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yes, let your friends help you. If you are going through a difficult time with somebody from your past that, who knows what, let your friends help you. I'm going to show you this one. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Do it. Communicate. If there's somebody on your mind that you think could be your soulmate, if you're feeling it, you know, this person has a really big heart, or if this is you and you feel the passion, you feel the desire, communicate. Just communicate. <laughs> to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This is fun. It is fun. I can see that it is fun. It's just going to be like pitter-patter, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. That's how I feel. It's pitter-patter. Pitter-pattery love after a 
situation in which you were in a karmic contract where you didn't get what you deserved, where you didn't, the justice reversed, it was karmic, the judgment reversed, you were in a karmic contract that was toxic, that you didn't get what you deserved, in which the lesson here was for you to take back your power, for you to find the strength to be the boss of what you deserve, whatever, anyway. So I feel like you guys have been calling in your soulmate and it's probably like right here. I hope that's for you. Good luck.